The video shows it. Beer after beer, shot after shot, after months of relying mostly on written records, KSAT has finally obtained the security video from the night of Councilman Clayton Perry's drunken hit and run on November 6. Our Garrett Berger tells us it actually shows him drinking more than previously reported. At 446 on a Sunday afternoon last November, District 10 Councilman Clayton Perry walked into Evil Olive, where as he'd tell police later that night, well, I had a good time. For the next four hours, Perry's in the bar, talking, drinking, and drinking some more. In his arrest paperwork, San Antonio police said Perry had 14 drinks. In court, his attorney argued it had only been about half that. So we counted them up ourselves. Through the bar's security video, we watched the three-term Northside Councilman down eight beers, six shots, and one old-fashioned. By our count, that's 15 drinks, one more than police had originally said, plus the dregs of someone else's drink, which police had noted elsewhere, but didn't count in the arrest paperwork. Altogether, call it 15 and a quarter. Multiple staff members at the bar told police Perry didn't appear drunk to them, though by the time he leaves, security video shows him stumbling. Based on 14 and a half drinks, police put Perry's blood alcohol content at this moment at 0.25, more than three times the legal limit to drive that Jeep Wrangler. He headed directly to the Bill Miller barbecue across the street, where the 67-year-old councilman made an impression on the drive through 17-year-old cashier and her manager. He just kept on saying, I love you, I'm here just to see you. He was trying to like, tell us what he wanted, but he said he didn't remember what he ordered when he didn't order at all. He was like giving me his keys. He was like showing me his ID and like trying to give me his wallet. Perry left the Bill Miller at 9.03. A few minutes later, he crashed head on into a Honda Civic waiting at a light at Redland Road and Jones Malls Burger and took off. Hi there. Though Perry would later admit to causing the crash, he wasn't copying to anything when a San Antonio police officer found him lying in his backyard at about 10.16 that night. So who was driving? Not me. Not you. No. With nothing to definitively put Perry behind the wheel, the officer eventually left him trying to get into his home with a credit card. Do not drive anymore tonight. After more investigating, Perry ended up charged with two misdemeanors, failure to stop and give information, and DWI. He pleaded no contest to both of them last month. And though prosecutors were okay with giving him probation, they wanted a conviction on his record. But the judge called their offer unfair and gave him deferred adjudication instead which means if he successfully completes a year of probation, he'll avoid a conviction for either charge. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, Garrett. The incident also led directly to Perry's decision not to run for council in the most recent election for a fourth and final term. However, he has left open the possibility of running for office again, telling reporters after his sentencing, quote, who knows what the future will bring, end quote.